Morning YouTubers, uh, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, by the title, you know what it is, what I'm going to say. Uh, questions and answers. Five questions, five answers, five nominations for subscribers under an hundred, or under a thousand subscribers. Uh, so, before we start all that, I just want to thank, uh, <laughs> uh, thank Alan Jackson for nominating me. He gets me every time. The sausage. Um, who would have thought? Um, I'm a United fan. And a Liverpool fan getting on so great is absolute top bloke, and we've actually got a common enemy this year in City. So how about that? And uh, putting the football aside, um, Alan visited the allotments a while back, and we got on great. He's really, really down to earth. He's a top bloke, and I've been looking at his subscribers there, and he's only got 412 subscribers. And I don't know, understand why he's only got 412 subscribers because he's got a fantastic channel. So I encourage anybody who's watching my videos to, to, to type in Alan Jackson and go and watch him. Him and his um, grandson, um, Nathan, is it? Nathan um, between them have um, absolutely done a fantastic job on his allotments. He's, he's a plumber and... Uh, He's, 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 he knows what he's doing with his hands and he creates some really good stuff so um, after you watch my um, video first put a call go and check him out because he's a top bloke he really is a great guy anyway he, he left me with uh, with this um, this nomination of uh, these five questions five answers um, so here we go so the first question why an allotment um, well I could easily skip that by saying why not but the truth of the matter is um, it was Lou Thomas um, he's 102 now and I uh, saw him walking down the, the road the other day 102 walking down the road I pulled up alongside him I said what are you doing I said I, f I said I said you're still going are you I said well you're not looking at a ghost mate so get in the car and I took him to, to the Salford precinct so he's still alive this guy and it was him who got me interested um, at the age of 10 what I used to do was to kick the ball against his wall, I used to drive him nuts. And um, he said to me one day, he said, why don't you come with me to the allotments? He said, uh, so I've got a bit of land there, so if you're interested, you can help me out. And, um, but you, you can't bring that bloody ball. I said, <laughs> so I thought, oh, all right, yeah, so where is it? And it was only, it's only 150 yards down the road. I think I've only, I've, I've never lived more than 150 yards away from the allotments, to be quite honest with you. So he says, um, go on, get on your bike and I'll take you up there. He says, go and tell your dad where you're going. Uh, the good friends were his neighbours. So anyway, I said, right, I'm off up to allotments with um, Lou. So we come to the allotments, we open the doors and it was like going into the, the Victorian kitchen garden. And there was uh, loads of characters there like Carrie uh, Dodson as you w walked in. And it was like walking into Narnia. It's a lot different than what it is now. The, the, the gardeners were really, really top professional gardeners. And uh, I was up. When I got, by the time I got down to, to, um, oh God, <laughs> uh, to, to lose plot, I lost, uh, bloody losing the plot, all right. By uh, the time I got down to lose plot, I was actually up. And, um, he gave me a bit of land and uh, I started to work it and for 15 years um, up to the age of about 25 I was actually um, helping him out every single day and um, my old fella then got a plot and for the next 20 years I was helping him and then Ill Elf um, put pay to that and then I got myself a plot coming it's nearly 10 years now uh, so I've been on the on the allotments for 45 years and the reason why I have an allotment is all down to Lou Thomas who is 102 and he's still alive. I was absolutely gobsmacked to see him walking down the road the other day. So there you go, that's why. Um, question two, why YouTube? Uh, again, um, I'm a match fisherman. I love me fishing when I can do it. Um, over the years, I've, ill health has stopped me from doing a lot of it. But when I used to go to fisheries, I used to um, catch hundreds and hundreds of fish everywhere I went. Every peg I went, I was catching fish, 
and I was looking around and seeing people catching nothing. They're spending seven pounds to go on a, on a water, and they're catching nothing. And I thought, how can I help them out? How can I show them how to catch these fish? And then it struck me, do a video. So what I started doing was um, doing going round, um, going round these um, um, fisheries, and. Um, going to each peg and telling people where the fish are, how deep the water is, what, what baits to use and how, and how easy it would be to, um, to catch fish and I thought well what's the easiest way to spread that and I saw this uh, YouTube video and I thought oh we'll have a go at that so that was uh, one of my very first uh, videos that I, I started to do and that's how I, I started to use YouTube, it was to put the word out for fishing and then, it, then I realised the you know the the flip the switch like and I thought well I can do um, gardening videos and show people um, ways to, to, to do gardening not all, not necessarily the right way um, but ways to actually increase your yields and I've been doing that year in year out with my potatoes which we'll come to that in a bit so that's why um, YouTube um, question 3 well I think I've just answered that in, in how long have I been growing well 45 46 years and um, not had much of a break in that time in fact i've had no breaks at all i've, I've always loved gardening as almost as much as i love, love fishing so it's 40, 45 years um question six what do you, oh, question four six is no six is there uh, question four what do you grow well i grow anything and everything anything what I've, i see which i think oh that looks nice it might not might not never tasted it ever um, but I'll buy it I'll grow it and um, if I don't eat it well what I do I actually give it away I, I give a lot of um, my produce away and um, there's a few people on here um, who like Dawn um, Dawn Keaton um, she, she runs a soup kitchen for the homeless and all the stuff that I have left over, I give her to, to, to make broths and what have you. And, you know, she, she has a soup kitchen, which she, she has open probably three, three nights a week. Um, top of um, Broad Street, I, I think it's St. Thomas's Church, she's there with a soup kitchen feeding the homeless. So I give her all, all my spare food, what I don't eat. And there's quite a lot of it, I tell you. But I grow anything and everything. Um, question five what is your favorite thing to grow well if it's there's a bit of a trick question that because um, these flowers and these veg now if it was if it was flowers that you wanted to know it would be the dahlia and the reason why I like the dahlia so much uh, was because going back all them years when I first come into this um, into this allotment waste allotments Every, but all the old boys was growing dahlias and there was one in particular, Larry. Um, absolute top gardener. Really it, it was like um, Harry Dodson. It was that sort of it was that gifted. And um, there was there was nothing he, he couldn't grow. In fact he's just uh, about I think it was about two about eight weeks ago he just passed away. I saw him going through the gates just before Christmas, um, it was about three weeks before Christmas, he was going to have his leg done, he said I see you in the next, ne I see you next year sir Mark, so I said alright, that is Irish lad, um, absolute legend, 60 years he was on this uh, allotment and uh, he grew some of the best dahlias and he actually gave me a few dahlias and them dahlias are in my back garden. Every day I come on here, it used to it'd be the ale rain and snow, it'd be out there digging, and he used to shout across, Top of the morning to you, Mark, top of the morning. And it'd be ale, ale sleet, snow, and he'd be there with his shovel, digging his plot over. But he, he grew some fantastic dailies, and that is the one thing I love to grow more now else. And my next video, I'll be showing you me starting um, some more dailies off in, in pots so watch out for that one however if it's coming to veg it would have to be the humble potato I love growing potatoes and my passion is trying to grow uh, a 20 pound bucket of um, 
of spuds in a 30 litre pot. I've come close this year. Each year I get a little bit closer. I'm at 18 pound four, I think it is. I'd have to look back at the, the videos I did last year, but it's about 18 pound four uh, ounces. I might be 18 pound 10 ounces. It's, it's thereabouts, but I've, I'm, I'll, I'll eventually do it. I get over 20 pound, um, but I, I grow several, I grow lots of different potatoes and I eat every one of them. I really do. I love potatoes. I'll, I'll eat them till they're coming out of my ears. But yeah, potatoes is my passion. That's what I love to grow. So there you go. That's the five qu uh, five questions and answers. So all, all what it leaves me do, to do now is uh, to nominate um, five other uh, subscribers under a thousand. Um, and uh, who should I start off with? Well, um, Bill from it was. I just got a bloody silly name. It's called Group the Gardening. He's got 965 um, subscribers at the moment. He's very close to getting that over that thousand. He's a very funny Irish man. He really is. Uh, he has me in stitches. He's an absolute barn pot. But he's a good carner and he's got a good art. He really has. You want to go um, get over there and uh, watch, um, get that subs get him over that um, thousand subscribers. Um, the other one uh, I like is um, another good gardener, uh, it's uh, Samo the Pot Gardener, he's got um, 731 subscribers at the moment and again um, Samo, is, uh, is a, he's got um, a fantastic plot there, you really want to go and check him out. Um, purple um, Sweet Peas, why the hell she ain't got over 1000 subscribers I never know. Now Claire she's a uh, She's got an allotment garden. She 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 works it with her family and a, a young son, and they've uh, transformed the, the 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 plot that they've got, and it's absolute um, treat to watch. She's got a cracking channel, so I suggest you get down there and try and push her over a thousand subscribers as well. And then I've got my mate um, Mike and uh, Pauline who have got a. Um, and a, a plot on this allotment over the other side of the allotment so you get to see what the life's like over the other side of you if you used to go and check them out and um, they've only got 248 subscribers I don't understand why they've only got 248 they should have more like 3,000 subscribers because they not only do they do gardening they do wine and they also do cooking as well very versatile very clever uh, very articulate uh, Mike is and um, They've got a daughter, uh, Karen, who's got a plot on her. She's uh, she's a, a nice, tasty girl as well. <laughs> she's a really good looker, and she actually Mike's got three daughters and a son. And um, yeah, uh, Karen, she's got a, her own plot on her as well. So, but um, yeah, um, Mike and Pauline from um, Potting Along, uh, worth uh, a visit over to their channel. And then the last one is uh, Fruit and Veg. He's got 381 subscribers. He has me. He's, he's, the very first video he ever did was with this wheelbarrow. Uh, as a barn pot. And uh, he was going 10, 10 to the dozen. He's, he's, he's turned out to be a little gem. And I do love watching his videos. Um, in fact, I like watching all new, subs all, all new channels. I love to watch them. Um, and there's some real gems out there. I think... Um, the icing on the cake, really, for me, the, it was a, uh, a while, but it's a while back uh, now. But um, muddy boots. Um, I saw this little. I saw this video, and I saw this character. It was his first video. He was a bit nervous, but I saw something in him, and I thought, I've got to be. I've got to subscribe to his channel. I was the first one to subscribe to his channel, and. Um, I just knew it was gonna. It was. It was gonna be something special so um, yeah and look at him now he's flying away with it he's um, got a great channel um, and you can learn a lot from him um, he's at the, mo at the moment he's got the jump on me with uh, my veg he's, he's about a week in front but uh, hey ho we'll catch up eventually so that's the f the the five people who are, have nominated um, to to do this um, this five questions and answers and I should I, I hope that you you know after watching this video, you have you check these um, channels out. That's the group, the gardener, Samo the pot gardener, purple sweet peas, potting along, and fruit and veg. They're the five, 
have a nominated for his question and answers so that's it folks i'm gonna finish this coffee off and uh, i'm gonna get cracking in the greenhouse it's lovely and warm today so i might be able to get a few seeds started i'll see you all in the next one um like i say we we're just saying there about the dahlias uh i've got the i've, I've got all my dahlias now so i'm going to be sorting them out real soon so watch out for that video bye for now folks